Welcome to Diplomatic Brief. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. The world stands at the threshold of a revolutionary leap in connectivity. 6G, the next generation of wireless technology. As we look to the future, the promise of 6G is not just about faster internet, but about transforming the very fabric of our digital lives. This new era will redefine how we communicate, work, and interact with technology on a global scale. Even as 5G networks continue to roll out and reshape industries, the world's leading nations are already locked in a fierce competition for 6G supremacy. This race is about much more than just speed, it's a contest for economic power, technological leadership, and geopolitical influence that could shape the balance of power for decades to come. Countries are investing billions, forming alliances, and setting ambitious targets to ensure they are not left behind. At the forefront of this global contest is China, with tech giant Huawei playing a pivotal role. Despite facing significant challenges, including ongoing US sanctions and international scrutiny, China is determined to lead the 6G revolution. Its government and private sector are pouring resources into research, development and infrastructure, aiming to set global standards and secure a dominant position. China's drive for technological self-reliance is not just about innovation, it's about reshaping the global tech landscape. By reducing dependence on foreign technology and building its own robust ecosystem, China is challenging the existing order and pushing other nations to rethink their strategies. The potential of 6G is staggering. Imagine a world where doctors perform complex surgeries from thousands of miles away with zero delay, or where virtual and augmented realities blend seamlessly with our physical surroundings, creating experiences that are almost indistinguishable from real life. 6G could enable smart cities, autonomous vehicles, and innovations we can barely imagine today. With speeds projected to be up to 100 times faster than 5G, 6G will unlock new possibilities for data-intensive applications, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things. This leap in performance could fundamentally change how we live, work, and connect with each other, making 6G a true digital game-changer. The United States and China are now locked in a high-stakes technological showdown, each determined to set the rules and control the infrastructure of this new digital frontier. Their rivalry is about more than just technology, it's about shaping the future of global influence, security and prosperity. In this story, we'll dive deep into the US-China tech rivalry, exploring how the race for 6G supremacy could impact not only global politics and economies, but also the everyday lives of people around the world. The outcome of this race will define the next chapter of our connected future. The tensions surrounding 6G technology are just the latest chapter in a much deeper and long-standing rivalry between the United States and China over technological dominance. This competition isn't just about faster internet or better smartphones, it's about who will set the standards and control the infrastructure that will power the world's future digital economy. For decades the US was seen as the undisputed leader in technological innovation. Home to Silicon Valley and the birthplace of the internet, personal computers, and countless groundbreaking inventions. Meanwhile, China became the world's manufacturing powerhouse, producing the devices and components that fueled the global tech boom. But in recent years China has shifted its focus from manufacturing to innovation. Ambitious government initiatives like Made in China 2025 and massive investments in research and development are designed to transform China into a global technology superpower capable of competing with and even surpassing the U.S. in key sectors like artificial intelligence, robotics, and telecommunications. One of the most visible symbols of this shift is Huawei, the Chinese tech giant that quickly became a global leader in 5G technology. Huawei's rapid rise alarmed U.S. officials, who raised concerns about national security and the potential for Chinese government espionage through backdoors in critical infrastructure. In response, the U.S. launched a global campaign to persuade its allies to ban Huawei from their 5G networks, framing the issue as a fundamental choice between democratic values and authoritarian control. This campaign led to a wave of bans and restrictions on Chinese technology across the world. The conflict soon escalated beyond 5G. The U.S. imposed sweeping sanctions targeting China's access to advanced semiconductors and chip-making equipment, aiming to slow China's progress in critical technologies and protect its own national security interests. These measures struck at the heart of China's tech ambitions. 
As both countries imposed tariffs, blacklists, and export controls, the rivalry intensified into a full-blown technological cold war, with each side racing to out-innovate and outmaneuver the other on the global stage. The fierce battle over 5G networks was just the beginning. Now, as the world looks ahead to 6G, the stakes are even higher. Whoever leads in 6G could shape the future of global communications, security, and economic power for decades to come. The U.S. strategy to counter China's tech rise involved powerful sanctions. Huawei was blacklisted, cutting off access to crucial American tech, including Google's services. The U.S. tightened restrictions, targeting semiconductors, aiming to block Huawei's chip supply. The foreign direct product rule prevented global companies from using U.S. tech to make chips for Huawei. The goal was to halt China's progress in AI, supercomputing, and telecommunications. The Biden administration expanded export controls targeting high-end AI chips and chip-making equipment. ASML, a key player, faced pressure to restrict sales to China. The U.S. aimed to freeze China's semiconductor industry, preserving its technological edge. However, China's unexpected breakthroughs challenged this strategy. In August 2023, Huawei quietly unveiled the Mate 60 Pro a move that would soon send shockwaves through the global technology landscape. Unlike previous high-profile launches, this release was almost understated with little fanfare or advance notice. Yet beneath the surface it marked a pivotal moment not just for Huawei but for China's entire tech industry. At the heart of the Mate 60 Pro was the Kirin 9000S chip, a sophisticated piece of engineering that defied expectations. Developed in the face of strict U.S. sanctions that aimed to cripple China's access to advanced semiconductors, this chip represented a leap forward in domestic innovation. The global tech community and policymakers in Washington were caught off guard. Many had believed that U.S. export controls would halt China's progress in high-end chip manufacturing for years, if not decades. The Mate 60 Pro's debut shattered those assumptions overnight. In China, the response was electric. Consumers flocked to stores eager to get their hands on the new device. The Mate 60 Pro quickly became a symbol of national pride and resilience, embodying the country's determination to overcome external pressure and technological barriers. Shelves emptied within hours of launch, and images of jubilant customers celebrating their purchase spread rapidly across social media. For many, owning the Mate 60 Pro was more than just buying a phone, it was participating in a collective victory. The timing was striking. The launch coincided with a high-profile visit by a U.S. official to Beijing, underscoring the ongoing tensions and the significance of China's technological advances. It was a clear message. China would not be easily contained. The Mate 60 Pro was no longer just a consumer device. It had become a powerful geopolitical statement, a testament to China's growing capabilities and its resolve to chart its own technological destiny. In response, the U.S. government launched an immediate investigation into the origins of the Kirin 9000S chip. Officials and analysts began to question whether existing sanctions were truly effective and how China had managed to achieve such a breakthrough despite intense restrictions. The Mate 60 Pro's success forced a global reassessment of China's technological capabilities. Analysts debated what this meant for the future of the smartphone market and whether China could soon challenge the world's leading tech powers on their own terms. The launch intensified the ongoing tech rivalry between China and the United States, prompting both sides to rethink their strategies and investments in innovation. Above all, the Mate 60 Pro's debut highlighted China's unwavering determination to achieve technological self-reliance, signaling a new era in the global tech race, one where innovation and resilience would define the future. The Kirin 9000S processor in the Mate 60 Pro caused a stir. Manufactured by SMIC, it used a 7 nanometer process, a significant leap for China's industry. While not cutting edge, it defied US sanctions aimed at limiting China's tech progress. SMIC achieved this using older DUV technology, showcasing Chinese ingenuity. The chip's existence raised questions about the US strategy of blocking access to advanced tools. China's path to semiconductor self-sufficiency seemed possible, despite challenges. The situation posed a dilemma for Western suppliers like ASML, facing pressure to tighten restrictions. China's breakthrough signaled potential long-term shifts in the global semiconductor market. 
Amidst the Mate 60 Pro drama, Huawei focused on 6G research. The company aims to be a key player in the 6G era, targeting a 2030 launch. 6G promises a paradigm shift with terahertz frequencies offering unprecedented data rates. Huawei announced breakthroughs in near-field communication, revolutionizing connectivity. The development of 6G is intertwined with geopolitical competition for tech leadership. Huawei's progress in 6G research highlights its adaptability and ambition. Huawei's resilience is reshaping global power dynamics. The Mate 60 Pro's success challenges the US-led tech bloc against China. This could lead to a fragmented global tech ecosystem with competing spheres of influence. A split system may cause inefficiencies and higher costs, impacting consumers and businesses. Developing nations face choices in this geopolitical contest, with China offering attractive alternatives. The struggle for tech supremacy is a proxy for influence in the 21st century. The battle over chips and standards reflects a larger contest for global power. Experts agree that U.S. containment strategies have unintended consequences. Sanctions have spurred China's long-term tech ambitions, forcing it to build a domestic ecosystem. China's coordinated effort, driven by national urgency, is formidable. A bifurcated tech world could heighten risks of cyber espionage and digital sabotage. Collaboration, not confrontation, is key to unlocking 6G's potential, but current politics hinder this. Multiple 6G standards may fragment the Internet of Things, affecting global progress. The era of US tech dominance is over. Understanding China's capabilities is essential. As we approach 2030, global technology is diverging. The 5G wars and Mate 60 Pro have set the stage for a competitive era. Huawei's story is one of resilience, channeling resources to forge its path. The West must adapt to China's progress, as containment yields diminishing returns. Consumers and businesses must navigate competing standards and supply chains. The technological shifts underway will impact economies, societies, and personal freedoms. The race for the future of technology is on, defined by competition between giants. Understanding these forces is crucial for navigating the complex decades ahead.